If you like Matthew McConaughey, you should definitely watch our picks for his best movies. You jerk off. Do I, do I jerk off? Yeah. Yeah, I jerk off, yeah. How many times a week? We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments, and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number 10. Gold, 2016. We paid to have this, this bullshit story you're telling put out. $164 million was a long way in Indonesia. Gold is a 2016 crime drama film directed by Stephen Goggin and stars Matthew McConaughey, Edgar Ramirez, Bryce Dallas Howard, and Corey Stoll. Kenny Wells, a prospector desperate for a lucky break, teams up with a geologist and sets off on a journey to find gold in the uncharted jungle of Indonesia. But as the risky expedition begins without a single speck of gold or the promise of it on the horizon, disease and failure will begin to threaten the dream. Is it indeed only an intriguingly bold and reckless fantasy? <laughs> Number 9. We Are Marshall, 2006. You understand me? How you play today. From this moment on is how you will be remembered. We Are Marshall is a 2006 historical drama biopic film directed by McGee and stars Matthew McConaughey, Matthew Fox, David Strathairn, and Anthony Mackie. When a plane crash claims the lives of 37 members of the Marshall University football team and some of its fans, the team's new coach, Jack Lengill, and his surviving players try to keep the football program alive. But building a team from scratch is a daunting exercise requiring many in the community to examine their values. I've seen it. You have shown it to me. You have shown this coaching staff, your teammates. You have shown yourselves just exactly who you are in here. Number 8. The Lincoln Lawyer, 2011. Are you scared, Lewis? That's where you are right now. You're in a very dangerous place. The Lincoln Lawyer is a 2011 neo-noir legal thriller film directed by Brad Furman and stars Matthew McConaughey, Ryan Philippe, Marissa Tomei, William H. Macy, and Brian Cranston. Mickey thinks he has taken the case of a lifetime when he accepts his new client, a rich playboy accused of rape and attempted murder. Mickey soon discovers that he is being trapped in a twisted conspiracy in which this case might be linked to an old case of his. You're my client. I'm your lawyer. My lawyer. See, that's exactly what I wanted to remind you of. I'm about to go on trial, and yet I couldn't reach you. Number 7. Mud, 2012. So I understand if you boys don't want to help me no more, but I need this boat, and I need to get it in the water fast. Mud is a 2012 coming-of-age drama film written and directed by Jeff Nichols and stars Matthew McConaughey. Ty Sheridan, Jacob Laughland, Sam Shepard, and Reese Witherspoon. Ellis and Neckbone are exploring the Mississippi when they stumble upon a small island inhabited by Mud. According to Mud, his true love Juniper is awaiting his arrival in town, and together they plan to make a daring escape from brutal bounty hunters after he killed a man in Texas. Fascinated, they agree to help Mud, despite the potential dangers of doing so. Making two kids run around doing all the work because you're too scared to do it yourself? Making me tell her it's over because you're too scared. Number six, A Time to Kill, 1996. When you think it's possible that those two animals could go free and be walking the streets? A Time to Kill is a 1996 crime thriller film directed by Joel Schumacher that stars Matthew McConaughey, Samuel L. Jackson, Kevin Spacey, and Sandra Bullock. After his 10-year-old daughter is raped in Canton, Mississippi by two white racists, Carl takes the law in his hands and murders her culprits. He then faces a trial and urges his attorney friend Jake Tyler to assist him in his legal case. After taking Lee's case, Jake has to fight most of his friends, including his best friend, his secretary, and his wife. You're just like all the rest of them. When you look at me, you don't see a man. You see a black man. Carly, I am your friend. We ain't no friends, Jake. Number 5. Dazed and Confused, 1993. That's what I love about these high school girls, man. I get older. 
They stay the same age. <laughs> Dazed and Confused is a 1993 teen coming-of-age comedy film. Written and directed by Richard Linklater and stars Jason London, Ben Affleck, Mia Jovovich, Cole Hauser, Parker Posey, and Matthew McConaughey. It is an affectionate look into the culture of adolescence from a bygone era. Set on the last day of school, the film follows the random activities of Texas high school students as they celebrate the arrival of summer. The upperclassmen are hazing the incoming freshmen, and everyone is trying to get stoned, drunk, or laid. You got a joint? Uh, no, not on me, man. <laughs> It'd be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs> Number 4. The Gentleman, 2020. Talking to me about the laws of the jungle. What was it? Something about being beneath me, silver on back? The Gentleman is a 2020 action crime film written and directed by Guy Ritchie and stars Matthew McConaughey, Charlie Hunnam, Henry Golding, Michelle Dockery, Colin Farrell, and Hugh Grant. The story follows Mickey Pearson, who has done very well financially with his highly profitable cannabis empire. He is now looking into cashing in his business, which he has come to value at nearly $400 million, and tries to sell it off to a dynasty of Oklahoma billionaires. Gosh, I am not. For sale. And even if I was, you're several zeros short. Now, you may be able to buy your man's sausage for that, but to me, it just looks rude at breakfast. Number 3. The Wolf of Wall Street, 2013. Second key to success in this racket is this little baby right here. It's called cocaine. The Wolf of Wall Street is a 2013 biographical black comedy crime film directed by Martin Scorsese and stars Leonardo DiCaprio, Jonah Hill, Margot Robbie, Matthew McConaughey, Kyle Chandler, and John Bernthal. It is based on the true story of Jordan Belfort, from his career as a stockbroker in New York City to his rise living the high life. But his firm, Stratton Oakmont, was engaged in rampant corruption and fraud on Wall Street. How long will Belford be able to maintain his elaborate wealth and luxurious lifestyle? I take Quaaludes 10 to 15 times a day for my back pain, Adderall to stay focused, Xanax to take the edge off, pot to mellow me out, cocaine to wake me back up again, and morphine, well, because it's awesome. More than make Number two, Dallas Buyers Club, 2013. Oh, I want to buy some now. That isn't how it works. Dallas Buyers Club is a 2013 biographical drama film directed by Jean-Marc Vallée and stars Matthew McConaughey, Jennifer Garner, and Jared Leto. In mid-1980s Texas, Ron is diagnosed with HIV and is deprived of effective government-approved drugs. So he seeks out alternative therapies and smuggles approved drugs into the U.S. He joins forces with an unlikely group of renegades and outcasts and begins to sell the treatments to a growing number of people who can't wait for the medical establishment to save them. I suggest you try it out. Maybe go talk about your feelings, your concerns. I'm dying. You telling me to go get a hug from a bunch of faggots? Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. Because in a case like this, nobody just walks into the office and tells you who the killer is. It just doesn't happen that way. Sometimes truth defies reason, Agent Dole. Yeah? So who is it then? We declare the land north of the Pascagoula Swamps, south of Enterprise, and east of the Pearl River to the Alabama border to be a free state of Jones. Yeah. And as such, we do hereby proclaim and affirm the following principles. Number one, Interstellar 2014. It's like we've forgotten who we are at home. Explorers, pioneers, not caretakers. Will the end of the Earth be the end of humanity? Christopher Nolan explores this question in his 2014 epic sci-fi adventure drama, Interstellar. The movie received critical praise and won the Academy Award for Best Visual Effects. Starring Matthew McConaughey, Anne Hathaway, and Jessica Chastain, it is set in a dystopian future where humanity is struggling to survive. The story follows a group of astronauts who want to change that and travel through space in search of a new home for humanity. 
But will they succeed? Go, 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 go. Seven years per hour here. Let's make it count. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.